Hi, I'm Clue. So you've gone ahead and downloaded the new snapshot for Minecraft, and you've got yourself a survival world, and you want to play with all the new features enabled. Unfortunately, you can't just load up your world, despite the fact that it has this message. This world last played in 19.3, you were on the snapshot version. Please make a backup in case you experience world corruptions. Well, truth be told, because they've converted it to data packs, that message is unnecessary because there are no new features enabled on this world. And there's actually no way to enable the feature. Even if I were to open the land, allow cheats, and then use the data pack command to enable update underscore one underscore 20, we get this message. Pack update 120 cannot be enabled since required flags are not enabled in this world. So despite Mojang converting them to data packs to make them easily loadable and unloadable, we cannot actually access them on a survival world unless we jump through a few hoops. So what do we have to do to actually make our world have the new features? Well, we're going to create a new world as a template and use the level.dat from that world to actually enable the experimental features on our survival world. So in order to do that, the first thing you want to do is click edit on your survival world and then click this button, export world generation settings. This creates a little file that's going to save the seeds and all the world generation of your world so that you can use that as a template for a new world. So from here, we can click create new world. We're just going to label it snapshots. And it's very important that we go to data packs and enable the new features because if you do not enable them despite them being available you will not be able to enable them in game using the data pack command because they're not actually data packs they're inbuilt files that need to be flagged to actually work really really dumb decision but i will i'll stop griping okay so done experiment features warning it's fine proceed and now in more world options we can click import settings so if we click import settings, you'll need to find your save. So my survival world, usually this is in your user, username, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft saves. And then you can find this new file, world gen settings, export JSON. So if we click on it, we get this message. Again, not really necessary. Uh, the screen doesn't really work for whatever reason. You have to click yes and then no. And this will import the seed and also change the world type to custom so that all the generation settings are from whatever world or version that you imported them. Then we can click done and create the new world. Experimental features, just click yes. And now we have our snapshot world with all the features enabled. And we're here with the exact same seed and the same chunk generation. So this means that in your world, because again, we are going to override the world settings, everything that is generated post this, this conversion will match your existing world. And just to make sure the features are enabled, we're going to go open land, allow cheats, we're going to use executes in the nether, run tp01290. So now I'm on the roof of the nether and I can go ahead and locate a bastion. Perfect. Uh, I also want to just convert to creative so I can find it easily. We'll go there, just dig down till we find the bastion. Ooh. There we go. Is there some chests for us? Perfect. And as you can see, we've got the smithing templates. So we know that the new features are working. Perfect. We can save and quit out. And next we want to actually open this file. So edit, open world folder. And then we want to take this level.dat, copy it over and paste it into our survival world, overriding the existing one. So click replace, let it paste. Perfect, we can close that. And now if we exit the screen, go back in, we can see we have two snapshots, but this one has survival world, but more importantly, we can see that the experimental tag is here, meaning that the features are enabled. If we load up this world, we can see that we're here in the nether. So again, this is the first issue we've run into, but we do have that smithing template. So this is the exact same world, but what's happened is we've overrided the settings so that the player data is the same as our snapshot world. So this is where we left off. We're even in creative and the world settings are the same as well. But if I were to say enable cheats again, and then execute this time in the overworld and teleport back to my home base, which is 16, 45, 119, negative 660. We can see that our world is still here. Everything's intact and good to go. So how do we actually prep so that we don't have to go through these little hurdles and everything can just pick up from right where we left off? Well, we can quit out and you may have noticed I copied the, the world before I converted it so that we can do a few things. First off, we'll head into this world. And what you want to do is find a chest 
and make sure to deposit all your inventory so that your player is empty. Unfortunately, there's no good way to save your experience, so that will be lost in the conversion process. But we've got our chest here, so we can save and quit out. In fact, sorry, you also want to write down coordinates. I know them, so I, I didn't have to do this step. So remember your coordinates, save and quit. And then we can go back to our snapshot world, the correct one. And we want to start off in that position. So open the land, allow cheats. For me, it'll be execute in the overworld. All you have to do is run TP. Back to the initial coordinates we would like. 1645, 119, negative 660. Uh, there is no bridge here, unfortunately. So right. We'll put ourselves up on this little cliffside. Perfect. And lastly, of course, you'll want to set the game mode to whatever game mode you're playing it. So survival. And we can save and quit. Now we can do the exact same step. So edit, open world folder, take the level.data and paste it into your survival world. Place. Perfect. Not enabled. And now it's enabled. They're all named snapshot, but we know it's this survival world copy. So we can head into it. Perfect. Our buildings are back. We're in survival. And my chest with my item should be on this bridge. But again, we did lose our experience, unfortunately. Perfect. And we're right to play with all the experimental features. I know the templates are in the nether, but there is also a far easier way to do this. But you do have to download something. <laughs> so it's up to you. Again, it's not too much of a hassle. You just have to make sure that your player inventory is empty and you remember your coordinates to set up. Okay, so then the other way to enable the features, which I do think is a little bit easier because you don't have to position yourself to have the correct coordinates, nor do you have to worry about your inventory, is to go ahead and get yourself NBT Explorer. I'll put the links to the download in the description. Again, you will need both a snapshot world with the features enabled and your survival world. So open NBT Explorer. We'll have our snapshot, our survival world. It should find it automatically. If it doesn't, you just have to do file, open, and then locate your Minecraft save file. But in the snapshot world, we want to go down to level.data, open the data, and we want to look for this enabled features. If you want to just go ahead and copy that, you can go ahead and paste it into your survival world in level.dat, data. Make sure you click on data, paste, and it should appear enabled features. And we've got update 120. This flags the world to enable these features to be accessed. After that, all you have to do is find the data pack, go to disabled and copy over the update and bundle if you'd like to play with bundles into the enabled section. You can use the inbuilt command at this point, but it's pretty simple to just paste them since you're here. Go ahead and delete the disabled entries and now make sure you click save. So again, we've got our two worlds. So now we've got it enabled, survival mode, experimental and the correct version. We can go ahead, enter the world, and the good thing about using this method is obviously my inventory stays the same, my position stays the same, and I still have experience. Again, the way the update works is any new chunks will obviously be developed with the, with the new system, meaning any chests you haven't opened that's uh, randomly generated will have a chance at all the new template stuff. So if you go to a bastion like we did previously, you'll be able to find the netherite upgrade. If you find yourself a new desert pyramid or jungle structure, any of the new ones where they generate, you'll be able to find the trims. All chests are generated randomly upon opening, meaning even if they're in a loaded chunk where you've gone before, if for whatever reason you've never opened them, you'll be able to open them with these features enabled and have a chance at unlocking the trims. Now, there's one last thing you can do if you really want, say, a fresh experience. So if I click on F3 right here, we can make note of some valuable information. So right over here, it has chunk. And next to that, you can see it says 722 in r.3.dash or negative 2.mca. So this is the chunks that sort of have your buildings and your positions. What you can do, and I don't actually recommend this, again, as long as it's unloaded chunks, they will now have the ability to generate all the new items. So you, you're better off exploring, but what you can do is delete all the chunks that you don't make use of. So if we open the world folder again, we can go over to region and we can scroll down and look for three dash negative two. If I go ahead and delete this, you'll have to exit out of the screen just so you can actually edit the files. If we delete this, go back into our survival world, all our buildings are gone. So what I've done is manually refresh the chunk. And this is something important to make note of. 
because obviously I'm doing it the inverse weight, so to speak. So if we go to creative, just so we can have a better look and my buildings up there are still existing. So you can write down all the chunks that contain the buildings you want to keep and then delete all of these files that you don't want. Yeah, so these are all the chunks that have been loaded in my game, even if I'm not making use of all of them. So you can manually reset the chunks you don't actually use or haven't built in. So if we F3 up here, for instance, this chunk is now add two dash negative two. All you need to do is write down the chunks with your buildings, and then you're able to delete any chunks that you don't actually make use of. So for instance, if I were to now save and quit and go ahead and delete every chunk, but that chunk. So all the way to negative, what was it? Two dash negative two, or is that there? And then the opposite end as well. We can go ahead and reload the world. So survival. You can see it's generated the chunks around me because of the way Minecraft generation works. It's not just the chunk you're in, it's the chunks around it. Perfect, we still have our building, but all of these other chunks have now been reset. So if I come back over here, we can notice that the bedrock wall is gone. And what this will do is refresh all your loot, all your dungeon exploration, and allow you to essentially re-explore the world as if it was a fresh file while keeping all your buildings. It is a bit more tedious because you obviously have to memorize and write down no bedrock wall and write down all of the chunks. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope that helped. Uh, again, I do think it is incredibly ridiculous that these are the, the hurdles you have to jump through to enable experimental features. The whole point of them being data packs were so that you could load up your world and then disable and enable them as you desire, but you can't even do that now. You can't just access the snapshot and then play a survival world and enable them without these methods. Hope you enjoyed.